word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Come, go down to the potter's house, and there I will let you hear my words. So I went down to the potter's house, and there he was working at his wheel. The vessel he was making of clay was spoiled in the potter's hand, and he reworked it into another vessel, as seemed good to him. At first thought, the message is that God is the potter, we are the clay, and when our lives come apart, God will work with us to make us something beautiful. There's always another chance, a new beginning. We see the potter taking the ruined pot from the wheel and working with it, reforming the clay and creating a beautiful form. We too are remade as we allow God to shape us. Did you know that there are many kinds of clay? All are basically mud dug from the earth, but you can combine different clays to make pottery that is white, hard porcelain, or coarse red earthenware, and many types in between. And what the clay has been through changes how one works with it. If clay is harder because it has dried out a bit, the potter has to adjust how it's worked. If clay has frozen and thawed, it needs more care in mixing together the wetter and the drier parts, but actually makes a more pliable clay than when it was fresh. Each of us is a unique lump of clay. God knows us and works with us according to our personality, our life experiences, and our possibilities. I think of my mother. My mother knew each of her children well and spoke with us as the unique individuals that we were. With one child, she would make rules and set clear boundaries and expectations, spelling them out so there'd be no misunderstandings. With another child, she'd be more subtle as she helped that child to form their own reasonable boundaries. With my brother, she might have said, no more jumping off the garage roof. But with my sister, she might need to be encouraging to her to take more chances, to step out and explore. She knew us and she treated us as one of a kind. God does the same. Some of us have had difficult lives and maybe a little harder, needing some softening and tender loving care. Some of us have been easily molded into beautiful vessels, but have difficulty understanding those who have had a more challenging life than we've had. We may be broken vessels that have been pieced back together, but mosaics can be lovely. How difficult it can be to allow each other to be ourselves when we don't look or act like one another. During these days and weeks of social changes, fear of a virus, every day upside down, it is tempting to judge how others are handling their new situations, which change daily or minute by minute. How human it is to judge. How like God it is to accept one another and love the uniqueness of each person. It is said that one can tell the character of a person by how they handle crisis. Let us hope that our response speaks of respect, kindness, and empathy. Thanks be to God. <laughs>